Hello guys, Igor here doing one more App Sumo review. Today I'm analyzing Super OK, a tool that quickly share project information, assets, and tasks on a customizable client portal. It's a client portal tool with, you know, usually people love that kind of tools. And so you're going to get a platform that offers customizable client portals to share project links, assets, connected apps, and more with your stakeholders. And the main difference here from other client portal is that, is that you can completely rebrand the client portal per client. And it's super easy to do that. It's a nice tool that has many in-depth features. So if you want to impress your clients and are eager to get a new client portal, that tool may be the one for you. They are not new. They have been here for years. So you can we, do, we can say that it's a new product. So they are mature by now. And the difference here is if you get the tier one, you get the solo plan and the tier two as well. But if you get the tier three, you're going to get their business plan. And what's the difference by now? If you get tier one, you don't get the custom domains. You only get the custom domains if you get the tier two. So you have unlimited projects in all the tiers, but to get custom domains and white label, you need to buy at least the tier two code. This is a deal to get at least the tier two. Otherwise, you're going to use the client portal without your branding, your custom domain, which will not be really cool to impress your client. So plan yourself to get at least tier two. But if you can take the tier three, you're going to get unlimited team members and getting the, their business plan and collaborators with added rights. And here on tier two, you get only one team members. So let's take a look how the deal works. So here, as you can see, is the super OK interface. And I'm going to show you their user experience now. Here on the top right, you can customize your account, adding your branding, your default branding. OK, you can upload a logo. You can upload a reversed logo. Th those ones you are going to use if you are going to use the dark background. OK, so let's say you're going to use the dark background and not the, the light background. So everything will be black. So you need another kind of logo to show up on the screen. OK, here you can customize your color palette according to your branding adding different colors and change the one they have by default. And you can also upload your own font, the font for heading and the fonts for paragraph. OK, so those are the general brandings that you can change. On account details, you can change your organization number and I'm going to show you their currencies. They have Euro, USD, Dollars, and you can see the other ones. OK. They don't have many, but they have several. So it's potential multi-language. Have GPG, Australian dollar, Canadian dollar, Hungarian, Indian rupee, Mexican peso, New Zealand dollar, etc. Those are the currencies. On custom domains, you're gonna add the custom domain like uh, the usual way. So adding a DNS, a C name on your host. OK, so it's pretty simple to add a custom domain and they are included in Solo Plus and the business plan as well. OK, here is where you're going to add team members. Remember, if you want to get uh, more team members, more than one, you need to buy at least the tier three. Right. And here on the left, you go back to home. And I'm going to say they also have a library here, case studies that you can show up to your clients. So you can create case study of, of past works, add client testimonials and reuse them in any proposal or brief. So why you're going to do that to show up your 
project your password to clients so they will be confident to work with you. You can see template of a case study here. Okay. There are uh, view cards. It's really easy to add to so just click and just change everything once. Okay. You can change the, the width. You can change space, color, background, and the size. Okay. So, uh, uh, so if you want to add anything uh, new, any new block, just click on the plus bo button. And I'm going to see that you can use your content library. That you have a, your, create your own template. You can add a group, a new column, okay? A section heading, a rich text, table, image, button, upload files. You can embed media. There's a lot of features here that you can easily add on your portal. So let's, for instance, embed something here. So for instance, let's say you want to add a YouTube video. It's here, for instance. So just pass your link here, click on Amped, and it's done. You can show up your video to your client. Okay. So if you want to create a new content block on, um, you know, here we are checking on the, the a case studge template and just click here. You create another column, for instance, here, dividing by two and just keep going, clicking on the plus button. Let's say you want to add an image, just upload your image. You can use Unplash. They have that integrate this integration. So select the image you want and here on that block, click on the plus button. Let's say you want to embed something new here. Just copy and paste, and then I just added my Twitter here. Can you see? So it's pretty simple to create a case studies to your clients and build all your client portal. The user interface is pretty interesting, the user experience as well. Here on the toggle, you can preview your case study. So how your client will see it. Okay. Everything is simple. It's about like Click on the plus button everywhere and add one of the possibilities you have here. Okay, so if you want to create another headings, just, just click on the button and it's done. If you want to centralize, just select here and centralize and it's perfect. You want to see on, on preview, just click here on the up right and you have a preview. So here on your library, you can create new blocks that you don't, that will be your templates to future clients. And also you can create the case studies to your clients. Okay. You can add the team bios. You can see three here. Okay. Pretty easy to create a bio as well. And then you can add those bios anywhere on your client port. Let's check out a demo project and then you can see the possibilities. Remember, you can change everything on your organization per client. So we have the default, but here on project sections, you can click here and you can change the branding by project. Okay. So for instance, if you want to show up as a dark project for that client, you can do it. You just click on the button and you change. You can change the primer color. Okay. You can change the document colors and fonts. They change the background image. You can change everything per client. They have quick link features, so you can add a new link that are important for that specific client, for instance. And you can, you know, uh, label writing anything on your link, change the icon as you want, and click here. You have a new quick link for that specific client. Okay. You can choose the apps you want to embed on that specific project. Those are the integrations of for quick embed. They have integration with Miro, with Airtable, with Figma, with Canva, with YouTube, with Data Studio, with Loan, Trello, and Clicker. And you can embed another app that offer a shareable public link. So anything that is shareable public link, for instance, Twitter, you can use using their embed features. Okay. And specifically they have those quick embed integrations. 
right? So you can change things per client. So let's say that client specifically want to charge in Australian dollars. So just change here and save change and you are going to charge that client in Australian dollars. Here on the right, we have a project modules. Okay, we can turn on and turn off your own project modules. Perfect. So here is your knowledge base. And on settings, as I said, you can change things per project. And here you have a demo project uh, of a client portal. Your client will see that and, ev and everything can be customizable. Okay. So for instance, clicking here, as I said, you can customize the quick links. They appear here on the front. Okay. Here is the search topic where your clients can, you know, search where they want. Here are the docs that they will receive. Okay. You can see a brief here with their code. As I said, you can add your team bios here. Just follow the plus button if you want to add anything new. Okay. Follow the plus button. And for instance, go to our content library. We have a previous pro a proposal here. Just click here and you just added your proposal on your page. All right. And then you keep going, creating and specifying that project to your client. Clicking here on that button, you can view as a client. So I just click it here and you are seeing now what your clients are going to get. Okay. So there's an air table integration here. You can see the air table here. There's a, a mirror integration here, the knowledge page for your clients. So clicking on the button, you can any, any, in any, in any time, see how your client will view their client portal. Going back to the project, you can see here the options that you have. So for instance, reform document, you can create, create a new document. So, and you're building from scratch, clicking on the plus button. As I said, everything's about the plus button here. And you're going to add a new, a new document to your client. You can add briefs. Proposal, progress update, statement of, of work, contract, estimate, change requests, client sign off. Okay. To create a new project, you just go here on home and click on create a new project. You can name it, uh, create your own branding, choose your apps and click on save chain. The clients and here, save chance. And you have a new project for that client. And then you start to manage your apps. If you want to use any of their templates, you don't need to build everything from scratch. If you want to create a new project, you can use their templates. For instance, let's say you are creating a new brand and identity design. So you click here, you can use these templates. Okay. Let's use that template on a, our new project called awesome project. And your template is already in your new project. Okay. So you are going to share that questionnaire uh, to your clients. Click here to share, share with the client. Okay. This is public now for your client. You have the option to download each part of your portal as a PDF, as you can see here. Just click here. You're going to download as a PDF. If you want to check out the new page, you just create it on a new project. Here it is You're using the template. Okay. There's a new form for your client. All right. So it's a pretty in-depth tool. You have many possibilities to show up your work using super. Okay. You can upload files to share with your if your clients, they just raise the limit so you can upload a file up to 125 megabytes. And if you need a client portal, this is a nice tool. Just try it, see if you like it. And remember, buy at least the tier two to get the white label and the custom domain. All right. Thank you so much. If you like my review, click on the link below.